description is about medical science current and characteristic and trends related to the impact of COVID-19 outbreak on mental health. Start of pandemic. Initial reports of the coronavirus disease COVID-19 date back to December 2019 in one city, China. Anxiety, stress and depression increased among one residents on the 31 December 2019 and this unusual situation then expressed itself in the anxiety and stress condition around the world. In this situation, all medical staff, epidemiologists and specialists offered their assessments, evaluations and suggestions and step-by-step -step updates on the circumstances and fatality caused by COVID-19. The usual situation was exempt with problems in global mental health, taking into account whether it can affect patients, the general population as group of risk as healthcare workers. This infection's unusual condition was investigated in light of issue with global mental health, taking into account the possibility that patients, the general public and healthcare professional could all be at risk. Who reported uh, the first year of the COVID-19 pandemic? The prevalence of anxiety and depression issues increased by 25%. 19% of involved countries have already integrated mental health and psychological assistance into their planning for the COVID-19 response. To predictions about potential increases in mental health problems, but significant challenges still exist. Mental illness have so far reported poor but consistent levels of these variables during the epidemic. They appear to be less impacted by factors that caused variation over time in other groups, according to the study that indicated that people with mental illness have had poor but steady levels of mental health so far during the pandemic. A review research revealed that the prevalence of mental health issue rose in the early stages of pandemic. Meanwhile, through thought the first year of pandemic, the rate of suicide, life satisfaction and loneliness remained virtually steady. The interest in the such terms depression and loneliness has decreased by 15.3% and 7.2% respectively, according to the research that looked at the future trends forecast from September 2020 to September 2023. The terms insomnia and psychiatrist are expected by increased 5.2 and 8.4% respectively in comparison to the research period. It is believed that interest in the term psych psychologist is mostly unchanged. The social distancing rules and vaccination is expected to explain changes in mental health in the future. The exempt patterns in the psychological distress among young individuals aged uh, between uh, 16 to 24 Average general health questionnaire scores from the first wave to 10, as well as six COVID-19 waves gathered between April and November 2020, accounting for the economy, living with parents, the educational background, parents, right to privacy, the ethnicity, gender and age. During the COVID-19 pandemic, psychological distress among young people in the United Kingdom may have changed and gotten worse. It should be invested on young people, especially in the most areas, as it can play a significant role in raising the population's mental health status study made in Canada. The fear of the additional wave was sparked when a large number of suicides suddenly emerged due to quarantine and physical isolation. According to the data, Canada is not the only country that has not seen an increase in suicide deaths.
A systematic review of 21 countries found that there was no evidence of significant increase in suicide deaths since the start of the pandemic. The suicide rate did not decline but did not even increase in Europe. New Zealand, Japan, South Korea, the United States and other high-income nations included Brazil, which has been severely affected by the pandemic. Nurses and medical professionals. In a cohort study between 31 March and 4 May on 2020, nurses were survived three times about personal factors, work conditions, family dynamics, and attitudes towards COVID-19. The results revealed that the COVID-19 outbreak appears to have had a rapid impact on nurses mental health and psychological adaption trends also noted. Only one in three adults in the USA and the United Kingdom reported being able to get professional assistance while feeling worried, angry or depressed, according to a report from the COVID-19 pandemic. In contrast, about half of Australians and Canadians were effective in getting the assistance they required. Medical professionals all across the world face with stress and pressure due to the hard work and long shifts caused by workforce shortage. Workers on the front line with expertise knowledge COVID-19 had the most work to do. This healthcare staff must deal with previously anticipated circumstances where protect personal protective equipment is lacking. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the brave, crucial and valuable job and the frontline healthcare workers worldwide to do every day while risking their lives has been recognized. Before the COVID-19 pandemic crisis passes, relevant evidence-based actions and interventions must be started and implemented to safeguard healthcare professional, mental health and well-being generally. In conclusions, it should be said that during the pandemic of COVID-19, people have faced great challenges, in particular healthcare workers involved. Mental health problems are present and the trend shows that will spread and worsen. Intervention to support mental health is urgently recommended based on age, type of profession and gender as well as social, demographic and economic factors. Thank you for your attention.